I'm going to do the MMC version of making it to the GPMC this time. For me, it's just quicker. And let's go ahead and open up our console. And look at some of these other settings as well. So let's go here and here. And we'll just edit our default domain policy. We'll look at, we're not really going to change anything, but we'll look at some other services. So we've talked about risks. We've talked about scripting. Um, let's look at folder redirection and Internet Explorer. Um, and you can find that under policies administrative templates uh, and also here under Windows settings any of these folders notice um, we can redirect via group policy and again your options are basic redirect everyone's folder to the same location or advanced specify locations for various users or groups and if I did I could add a UNC path there for that location so any of these that would typically be found locally on a machine um, you know, we can redirect out across the network and redirect these things under group policy. Lots of options there, desktop downloads, pictures, documents. Um, let's see, covered everything there. Public key policies, if you're using digital signatures or a PKI public key infrastructure with a private and public key pair, um, you know, with certificate or hash generated values, you can make those changes or adjustments there, those settings there. Administrative templates in addition to controlling control panel just look at some of the options here um, the ability to add or remove programs just about any part of a Windows operating system can be tweaked and controlled with group policy it's amazing when you think of all the settings that you have control over even replication in Active Directory just all kinds of of things there here are some you know, Windows components look at all of the Windows software and applications that you have access to in each one of these um, tablet PC task scheduler Windows calendar Windows Movie Maker, Windows PowerShell, Windows Sidebar, Windows Update, Windows Mail. There's just so many different things that you have. Um, the last one we want to look at, let's look at Internet Explorer maintenance because it's pretty amazing what you can do with this as well. And you can set default program settings, zones and ratings. Um, you know, say that you know, you're maybe possibly in elementary school or something. We'll go to security. If you're an elementary zone, uh, elementary, if you're an elementary school or a school or s setting, s some setting where you don't want people going to naughty websites, um, then you could basically, you know, if we wanted to, we could configure, a, in this case, you know, a, a level of security that's customized specifically to um, wherever we apply that GPO. So wherever that GPO is applied, in that case, those users would have restricted access to the internet or restricted access to internet sites. So if I went to restricted sites, I could add restricted sites here that they could not go to. I could add my trusted sites here if I wanted that they were allowed to go to. And also for content ratings, notice that we can go here. And I'll just move the slider a bit. Let's go. Fear, intimidation. Well, just here's some of the content ratings. Content ratings, you know, create fear, intimidation. Um, alcohol use, drug use, depiction of gambling, tobacco, weapons, language, nudity, uh, sexual material. Here's a slider here. I'll move the slider back and forth. So unrestricted access, some um, limited, and then no access whatsoever. So you have a fine level of control that you can specify in terms of what people are allowed to you know, do with their web browser, what websites are allowed to serve to, and exactly where they're allowed to go on the internet. So those are some just you know some amazing group policy features or settings that you can apply on your network um, using Windows 2008 uh, Enterprise Server and Windows Vista Ultimate or Business Edition if you prefer. But um, in this case, we're using Vista Ultimate. And this is by no means an exhaustive. You know, th this is just a, a, a cursory introduction to group policy. We've left so much out but this will give you an idea of its capabilities and what it can do and if you're willing to spend you know probably several weeks of your time you can explore this a lot further um, and, and its capabilities